prior to the draft, I was asked on national television, who would I draft? And I said, I would draft CJ Stroud. And when I said that, the host of said show was kind of puzzled. He didn't agree with what I said, obviously. It wasn't a knock on Bryce. It wasn't that I didn't believe that Bryce would be a good player. It was what I saw and what I felt CJ would and could be during COVID. We were just trying to find fields. We go to Long Beach, it's a field in Long Beach called Chittick Field. And we're going 707, 101. We got all these college NFL receivers, all these college NFL quarterbacks, all these college NFL DBs. We're just going 707, 101. Dropping dimes. He was in high school and he was accurate as f He wasn't even in Ohio State. I was like, God. Damn, he don't drop in dimes. He's the only high school kid out there throwing to us. And he was better than some of the NFL quarterbacks for as far as accuracy. And accuracy travels, no matter what level you're on. If you're accurate, you're going to remain accurate. And we see that right now. What you can't judge is the way he makes others feel. Even we're at the combine, his outgoing personality and who he was because everybody expected him to be drafted high. Them dudes a lot of the time are assholes. They feel like they shit don't stink. I'm better than you. He's nothing like that. My son loves this because every time he sees my son, he makes my son feel like he's somebody. If the Texans is playing, my son want to watch the game because of the way CJ has treated him. And yeah, that's my son and my son has been around him. So he's not going to be mean to my son, but you don't have to be nice to him either. You don't have to play catch with him. You don't have to converse with him. You don't have to throw like, you don't have to do that. And he doesn't just do that with my son. He's done it with other people, kids. I just noticed the way that he treated people. And I feel like that would go a long way in that locker room when you're a rookie and you have to be a leader of men. The way that he treats people is going to go a long way. And guess what happened? It has gone a long way and it is going along. He is playing unbelievable. Most passing yards in the history of the NFL for a rookie quarterback. This dude threw five touchdowns yesterday. Zero picks, one pick on the season. Before we say, oh, he has a lot of weapons. We weren't saying he had weapons before the season. We were saying he didn't have any weapons before the season. But guess what? He gonna get Nico Collins paid. Nico Collins is about to get paid because Nico Collins is now balling. We all know who Nico Collins is now because of CJ Stroud. Tank Dell's a rookie. He's balling. Robert Woods, who was the veteran presence that they were counting on, he not even getting involved as much as they thought he would. And so you got to give CJ Stroud a ton of credit. Before the season, everybody agreed, him nor Bryce had weapons on the outside. Now it looks as if CJ has weapons. I wonder why. But what he's done in this half a season has been nothing short of remarkable, barring injury. Rookie of the year is his, no, no question. But now we are gonna start to talk in the next year or two. He's gonna be a top five quarterback in the league the way he's playing. D'Amico Ryans has found his quarterback pretty much, you might as well call them the black Belichick and Brady because they gonna be together forever. CJ Stroud will play the entirety of his career with D'Amico Ryans as a head coach. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that in year one.